How to set up a Linux CentOS 7 server as a router. This example is based upon my previous how to add a second network adapter interface to a Linux CentOS 7 virtual machine YouTube video tutorial. The object this time is to turn the VM Linux CentOS 7 into a router to connect the two networks and allow traffic to flow from one network to another. First, we will test if we can ping between the devices on the network segments. They will be referred to as WAN and LAN. Next, we will check if we can access the internet from the LAN side. The Linux CentOS 7 server will be assigned two static IP addresses, one for the WAN and one for the LAN. IP forwarding will be enabled. The firewall will be updated to allow routing. The configuration update will be tested with pings and a web browser. Here is a diagram of the objective. Two network segments, a LAN and a WAN, on two different IPs. Currently the Windows uh, machines cannot ping the WAN gateway and the Linux box sits in the middle with two active network cards. Okay, so now let's, uh, so here we are on a Windows Server 2012 on the LAN side and we will try to ping the gateway on the WAN side. And it's unreachable. And that ping is going nowhere. Okay, good. So now uh, let's move on to the server. Okay, let's see. IP space A shows us the two network interfaces. Now let's go edit the config files and give them a static IP address. So boot protocol static. On boot yes, IP address. One nine two one six eight dot one dot one two four. Net mask two five five two five five two five five dot zero gateway one nine two one six eight dot one dot one and there we have it. Now we have to edit the other config file. Boot protocol is changed to static. On boot yes, IP address equals ten dot one dot ten dot one. This is the number on the LAN. Give it a net mask. It's very important that in the LAN 
interface configuration, you do not have a gateway and you do not have a DNS server. Let's go ahead and save the file. Okay, so now uh, we need to enable uh, IP forwarding. So let's create a file for that that can be loaded each time the system restarts. And I made a typo here. So I'm creating this configuration file in uh, Etsy syscontrol.d. Okay, and inside the file it's going to be net.ipv4. Dot IP underscore forward equals one. Save that. Okay, now let's activate that and make it permanent. Okay, and if that is successful, it'll echo it back to you. Net IPv4 IP underscore forward equals one. That means it is enabled. Now we need to uh, add a firewall rule, and hopefully, I won't make a typo. Permanent direct pass through post routing. For the DNS one nine nine two interface, okay, and we press enter, and it's successful. Next thing is we need to. Um, Make an external zone. So firewall Okay, I think that is correct. And success. Now we need to set an internal zone. That is done. Let's reload the firewall. Okay, let's restart the network and the firewall.
Restart network, restart firewall D. Okay. Now let's see if we can ping stuff. Okay, we can ping the gateway. We can ping a machine on the LAN. Let's see if we can ping something on the internet. Ping google.com if I can spell it. So that's all, all correct. Now let's check one of our desktop computers on the LAN. Okay. So the last time we were here, it didn't work. This is the Windows machine on the LAN side. So this machine's IP is 10.1.10.2. Let's ping 192.168.1.1, the gateway on the WAN side, and we get a reply. Ping Google. And we get a reply. Let's bring up a browser. And we have internet access. And let's check the other Windows 7 machine on the LAN side. Again, address 10.1.10.101. .10 We're going to ping the gateway on the WAN. And that is successful. Now we're going to bring up a web browser to test internet connectivity. And it looks like we're in business. And let's go back to our PowerPoint. So the objective has been reached, and the result is that the LAN and the WAN are now connected with the Linux CentOS 7 router that has IP forwarding enabled, and the firewall has been updated to allow a pass-through. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.